Hey everybody, Andy here, and it's once again time for the Art Stacks Unboxing July Edition. This is why I'm wearing this snazzy sunglasses. I felt it was summertime, and it's very hot here. So here's the Art Snacks. Let's open it up. And here's what it looks like inside. So, the first thing I always pull out of here is candy. This is why it's called Art Snacks. And this time we got Sparkles. Okay, the other thing that I always pull out of here first is the little menu thing. Put that to the side just in case we need it. And this time they gave us a sticker. So, the first a actual product I see in here that they gave us is Brush Cleaner, and this is by the Masters Brush Cleaner with, I forget the knit brand of this is, but, I don't know, I forget what the brand of this one is, but I've actually used this brush cleaner before, it looks like this, and what you do is you open this up, and there's the cream inside there. And what you do is you put a little water in there and you get your brush and you swirl it around. Oh, if there's a brush in here, I'll demonstrate it. But you get the little... Uh, let me see if there's a brush over here on my desk. Thing. Una moment. So. You get the brush. You go like this, you wet this, and you swirl this around like this, and then it, the product gets on there, and I always go like this with my hand to rub in the product, and then you water the brush. And this actually gets a lot of paint out. You can also put some of this on your brush and leave it overnight, and that'll actually help loosen oil paints if you have oil paints that are dried. So there's that. So then the next thing I see in here is do it your plow, a different way to watercolor. So this is a white watercolor sheet. This is like the sample size. So they're saying this is watercolor paper. It's very slick feeling for watercolor paper, so that scares me a little bit. There's no texture. What it looks like. So let's open the green tissue paper, and that's all that's in the box. So can we open the green tissue paper? So, the first thing that's in here is a pretty nice brush. It's a round, it's a six round Princeton Elite. So, this seems to probably be synthetic fibers. So it's a sable brush. So yes, it's a synthetic sable brush. So this is what it looks like. So this is actually pretty good for watercolor. It's not as good as natural fiber or hair fiber because that'll suck up the water like for the brush, but these are pretty good. So not the synthetic can either be used for watercolor or uh, acrylics. You don't really want to use an synthetic for oils, you want to use like hog's hair or something of that nature for oils. That's a little brush, this is a six round. And then they gave us a Pinto Artis Technica. So this is thin. And it's a point four, so it's pretty thin. And it is black. Let me get my little paper here. So that's what it looks like. It's black and it makes a pretty thin line, which is pretty cool for watercolor. We'll see if it's water soluble or not when we do the test. Hopefully it's not. And then we got phthalo green. So this is actually a blue, not really a green. It's like a blue green. Again, I'm getting more blue greens. All these art things love to send me blue greens. I mean, I guess it's my color. My room is blue, my shirt's bluish. So there's the paint. 
so we'll go test that out. And this is watercolor. Q O R. Never heard of this. <clears throat> Never heard of this brand of watercolor. I usually use Windsor Newton or Aquila Color. So this is. It's by Golden. So it's pronounced Core. There you go. So this is a watercolor. So this is perfect actually because if you want to, it really strong colors like this phthalos blue, or I mean phthalos green, this actually will stain your brush a lot. So if you want to get that stain out, especially reds, this will actually help you get it out. So these are the products that I got today. There's five products, that's pretty good actually. So we're going to go make a piece of art with these, and I'll tell you my what I think about these, you hear. So here is the finished piece of art. It's like a cool little sunglass duck with a weird little fish at the bottom there. Okay, so let's talk about these products. First we'll talk about the thing I liked. Okay, I thought this was going to be more on the blue spectrum of colors. This phalo screen. This is really green, just so you know. If you get this color, which I'm sure they gave different colors out, I'm sure it's not the same color. If you get this color, it's green. Like, it's on the green side. It is a little blue. It's like, you could probably push it with some other watercolors to be more blue, but it's green. So this will actually be really helpful when I go camping and stuff to get that nice green, like, earthen water. It's very green. Okay? It's green with a little touch of blue. This was actually very good paint. It, it's pretty opaque actually still when it's in its heavy body form so before it dries because how I like to use watercolors I like to let it dry and then I add as much water as I want but when it's in its heavy body form which is like right after you squeeze it out of the tube it's pretty opaque so you could probably glaze I mean not glaze but you could probably lay down a thick layer first and then glaze over the top of it with some other colors that would be pretty nice so the other thing testing out is the transparency of this watercolor. Couldn't really trust it. test out the transparency of this watercolor on this paper, so when we get to this paper, I'll talk about that. So that was the paint. Paint, pretty good. By Golden. I've used some of their acrylics before. So let's talk about this brush. This brush holds tight pretty well. Uh, I might make another little video about using that brush cleaner and how to clean these, the best way to clean them. Uh, so it's around the six, so it's kind of not really for detail, but it's not for laying in big forms. It's kind of the middle middle formation, so if you're painting a face or something like that, it's for kind of like blocking in the s smaller sections, but not the detail yet. So like the noses and that kind of stuff with the six, depending on how big your painting is. Now if your painting is tiny, 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 this is not going to be, this might be for your blocking in then. So I don't know, six is pretty good. The pen fair pin, not for watercolor, it's very water soluble, n not for going with watercolor, the ink is not water permanent, uh, <coughs> it's not a permanent ink, so if you just want to draw as a sketching pin, this is a good pin, if you want to match this with watercolor, no go, do not use this with watercolor, so that was a bad mistake on Art Snacks part is because they didn't test this is not water soluble ink so if you want to have your ink bleed into your drawing then use something like this if you want this to be your outline of your watercolor don't use this okay so now this paper this paper do not use this paper with watercolor I don't know why it says it's watercolor on there 
a different way to watercolor, I would not use this for watercolor. This is more for like uh, experimental type <clears throat> and makes media type arts. So if you do use watercolor on this paper, it smears around a lot. It's a glossy surface, so it's gonna your paint is gonna sit on the surface of the paper, not bleed in. And most watercolorists, especially purists, they want the paint to sink into the cotton or into the fibers of their paper so it stays permanent. The other problem with this I notice is it's very smudgy. So if you touch it wrong or shut this up, it smudges the paint all around because the paint can't sit on the surface of the paper. So that's another no-go for watercolors for me. So I, I would not use this for watercolor or acrylics because acrylics aren't going to sit on here well either. This, what you actually would probably use this paper for is, like I said, makes media. So you'd smear it all around, get it all on there, then you cut out shapes, or you use this in, con in combination with some other techniques or some other ideas to get a different effects, like more swirl effects or more sky effects. That's what this is going to be doing for you. Otherwise, don't be don't use this for purest watercolor or landscape or any kind of thing that you want to have a lot of detail and de definition don't use this type of paper so that was the products there's the piece of art here's the products we got I'm gonna make another little video probably right now go make another little video right now about this so you'll see that uh, if you like this video Give me a like down below if you have any questions about any of these products. I will try to answer them if you question it down below. If I can't answer it, then I'll look it up and answer it for you. Also, tell me what colors you got for the paint. Tell me what size, if they give a different size for this. I don't know. It tell me what size brush you got. And if you got the synthetic too. That's about it. See you next time. Bye.